Hello, my name is Dr Suzanne Vagab and I'm the clinical lead for Stroke Services in East Dorset. Thank you for joining us today and for being part of this discussion. As you'll be aware, health services across Dorset are changing. It's been decided that the Royal Bournemouth Hospital will become a major emergency hospital and Poole Hospital will become a major planned care hospital. What this means for people who experience a suspected stroke is that care will begin at Bournemouth Hospital. Rehabilitation may take place at either Bournemouth, Poole or at home with our early supported discharge team. Decisions for transfer of care will be made based on what is right for each individual. People who experience a mini stroke, transient ischemic attack, who are fully recovered by the time they see a health professional, will be seen in a specialist outpatient clinic at Poole. Services for all patients will be available seven days per week. National studies show that people who have had a stroke and are treated on a designated stroke unit with care from a specialist team have improved post-stroke recovery and spend less time in hospital. These changes mean we can offer people improved access to specialist professionals. Teams at both sites are working together to develop our plans for future services. Our aim is to improve care and experience for people who experience TIA or stroke. We want to ensure that discussions involve people who have lived through this experience. This includes staff as well as patients who have used our facilities. In 2018, we started a conversation with our staff and people who have used our services. We also looked at other sources of patient feedback, such as a postal questionnaire. We asked people about their experience of using our services from the time they first noticed their symptoms through to their arrival at hospital and then the rest of their stay up until several weeks after returning home. We asked them to think about their experience, how it felt at different stages, what they found useful and where they thought improvements could be made. Overwhelmingly, two key themes emerged as areas to improve upon, these being information and discharge planning. The purpose of today is to hone in on these areas and continue this dialogue with you to help us get to the heart of the things that make a difference. We plan to bring patients and staff together to share their experiences and work together to create solutions to improve information and discharge planning within our future service. Thank you for your help with this.